All right, so today we're talking about starting the engine. Now starting the engine is very simple, but there's some common errors I see. So whenever I'm walking around the ramp, sometimes I'll hear someone on the starter and just holding it for 20, 30 seconds. It's a very easy way to burn out the starter. Or another thing I'll see is once they start up the engine, they have the throttle almost all the way full open, it makes very loud sound and they can even start moving forward. And that's another thing, making sure you're on the brakes whenever you start on the engine. Because a lot of times you can easily forget and you can start creeping forward when you're looking down at the checklist. So always make sure your eyes are up and you're aware of your surroundings. All right, welcome to the ramp, guys. We're here at uh, November 90568 Lima. It's a carbureted equipped 172. It's gonna be the majority of the airplanes that you're gonna see out here on the ramp. So I'm gonna go over the starting procedures and some common pitfalls to avoid. So for engine start, I always have my checklist handy. And it's a pretty straightforward procedure. So number one, make sure your brakes are set using the very top of your rudder pedal or using the parking brake, which to set, you pull out and you turn and now your parking brake set. Next, we need to get fuel inside the engine. So to get fuel inside the engine, use your mixture, your red knob. So we're gonna go full forward with our mixture. Next, the checklist specifies for a cold engine, you wanna prime it. So to prime it, there's actually labeled primer right here. So to get fuel into the engine, directly into the cylinders, you twist it, you pull back, and you can hear the fuel going into, inside of the primer here, and it shoots it straight into the cylinders. Maximum six pumps there. I usually go about four whenever I'm uh, starting the engine for the first time of the day. So next for the throttle, we're gonna open it up an eighth of an inch. Now, all that means is very slightly in. It doesn't have to be a lot. If you have it too far in, once you start, the RPM's gonna shoot way up. All right, so everything's primed. Now we wanna do a safety check. Make sure there's no one around, and then we're gonna yell clear prop very loudly so everyone around knows you're about to start the engine. Now, we know we have fuel in the engine, the area around us is clear, now we're gonna engage our starter. So our starter's right over here, we have an off, right, left, both, and start. So we're gonna twist it all the way to the right to the start, and we're gonna hold it there until the engine starts. Now you don't wanna hold it for longer than 10 seconds. If it hasn't started by then, go ahead and release the starter, and either reprime the engine or let the starter cool down, and then give it another shot but typically it should start up right away. And once it does that, your eyes should immediately shift to your RPM gauge, get to a, th a thousand RPMs, and make sure your oil pressure is in the green arc. Then you wanna go ahead and lean the engine. Now, when we're talking about leaning the engine, we mean we're pulling the red knob out. Now, how much is enough? Well, the best way is to go out and practice with your instructor, but typically about an inch right around there should be a very aggressive lean. All right, so we're out here at November 494 Juliet Bravo. This is a fuel injected engine. So the main difference here is there's no carburetor. It's a slightly different engine startup procedure and there can be a few pitfalls, but for the most part, very easy to start. So let's go ahead and start it up. Now the first few steps are the same. We're gonna go mixture full rich and then we're gonna make sure our throttle's open very slightly. And then instead of using the primer that was just to the left of the ignition switch, we're gonna use a fuel pump. This is the green switch here. So we're gonna go master on. We're gonna turn on our fuel pump. And we'll see we got a fuel flow showing here in the green. So then we're gonna go mixture idle cutoff, turn off our fuel pump. And then this is where we're gonna go ahead and clear prop, say it very loudly so everyone hears it. And then we're gonna engage the starter just as we did in the carburetor equip. Now you'll notice that the mixture is still out in this airplane. So once the engine catches and you hear it to start, you're gonna gradually increase the mixture to full rich, and then the engine will start up just like in the other airplane. And again, once you do that, you're gonna to go to 1,000 RPMs and do a nice aggressive lean for taxi. So let's say you're going up for a student solo and you're a November 494 Julia Bravo fuel injected engine, it's just not starting. A common cause can be a flooded engine. Now a common symptom of that is you'll see maybe a little bit of fuel leaking from underneath the airplane or really it's just not starting. So there's two easy fixes for this. 
Number one, you can just wait and let the fuel evaporate out of the cylinders and then give it another try, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Another way that you can give it a shot is almost opposite of what you would think. You would have the throttle half open and you're gonna pull the mixture all the way out and then you're gonna go ahead and engage the starter again. And all we're doing there is we're adding some air into the engine. And once it starts, you're gonna go mix your full rich and pull out your throttle to 1,000 RPMs. Thanks for watching the short. We'll see you in the next one.